So Donald Trump has been elected President of the United States and the world is in shock, but is it a shock? I would say no. I see the fact that Donald Trump has been elected US President to be a natural progression, uh, a natural outcome of the lie that we've been sold and told since the day we were born and which is reinforced constantly by the media um, and by ev everything that tries to influence us. And that lie is this, that we are nothing more than this, the physical. We are mere meat robots, meat puppets, we're told. Um, we have no soul, no spirit, that's just airy-fairy nonsense. It's only what you can see, touch and feel, that's it, that's it, that's the reality. We are physical beings, nothing more. Um, now when you tell people this, and when you constantly reinforce this, it's easy to divide them. If you tell someone, okay, you're just this physical being, then you can be divided by people who are told are physically different to you, whether it's, you know, uh, colour or gender or, um, or, any, or any difference, because you can put people in a box, you can, put, you can put divisions around people, you can build a wall, hey Donald, around people. Um, and then you reinforce that with um, the constant promotion of um, you know, celebrities, people who are, but those who are like famous for being famous, you know, people who just have a lot of wealth and fame and, you know, we're told we should aspire to be like these people. We, we should aspire to have these material things. We, got, we have to, we associate, because we associate ourselves with being physical and materialist and being of this material, materialistic, then we associate ourselves with materialism. And so we are told that we have to have the latest phone, we have to have the latest car, we have to have the latest um, clothes, you know, we have to have all these material possessions and you have to constantly have the latest thing to keep up with whoever and, you know, you're constantly in competition with other people to have these material things because we're in a material world and we are nothing more than this, this material. But that's the lie. That's the lie that keeps us trapped and keeps us divided. Now, the thing is, we're, we're constantly bombarded with these images of these celebrities and these uh, people who are appear narcissistic because they're always posting selfies of, of themselves and, you know, they, they make the news by posting a nude selfie of themselves or, you know, we're... Anything that happens in their lives is seen as news and we should care about it because these are people that are wishing you know, they're held in this high regard. But it's like, when you realise that you are in fact a spiritual being having a human experience, then all this other stuff is just nonsense really, isn't it? You know, why do so many celebrity lives end in tragedy? Because... They've got a, they've got a, they've got a despair that they're trying to trying to fill. They've got a, a, they've got an emptiness that they're trying to fill, and they're trying to fill it because they bought into this lie, which we all buy into to a certain extent. But buy, buy into this lie of being material. We are only phys we only physical beings. We're meat puppets. They buy into this, and so they think, well, I must have all this material stuff that will make me feel better. That will make me feel better, better about myself. And then it doesn't. It leads to an. An addiction, you know, maybe I can cover this despair with drink or drugs or sex or buying the latest diamonds, having a four million dollar diamond ring or something ridiculous like that. And it's never enough. It's never enough because it can never be enough because there's always... You've bought into this material lie. So as you're getting older, you're going to have to have nips and tucks to stay younger because there's always someone younger coming up behind you. There's always... Someone else who's going to be the latest big thing, and well, no, I'm not getting so many hits on my videos. I'm not getting so many likes. I'm not getting so many, so much attention. So what am I going to do now? I've got to stay young. I've got to stay relevant. Ah, it's insanity. <laughs> but this is the liar that we bought into, and this is the liar that society has us all tied into. And so Donald Trump being elected president, <laughs> a reality star, <laughs> is just the natural progression of this. Materialistic, materialistic, narcissistic, 
insane society that we live in, which is constant, constantly promoted as being all that there is and being the best that there is. So that's that's how we've come to where we are now. That's how we got Trump as a president. But if you can see, once you know that you are a spiritual being having a human experience, then all this noise and nonsense and all this stuff can fall away. You can't be you can't be manipulated by it so easily. You can't be influenced by it so easily because once you know that you are a spiritual being and that we are all spiritual beings, it doesn't matter your race, creed, colour, your sexual orientation, your gender, your what gender you associate with it, all of that, wherever you fall on this amazing, beautiful, infinite spectrum of human possibilities to experience and be, ultimately, you are a spiritual being having that human experience. And as such, we are all the same. And once you know that, then you can't be divided, can you? You can't be told to look at someone else as being less than you. You can't be told to oh, be suspicious about that person because oh, they're that religion or they're that colour or they come from that country or they're that sexual, sexual orientation or they're that gender or they uh, associate with that certain gender or no gender or, you know, you can't look at anyone as being less than you once you know that we're all spiritual beings having this human experience because we're all the same. So I'm no better than anyone else. And none of us are any better than each other because we're all, in essence, the same and as such one. We are all spiritual beings having this human experience. And these are crazy times we're living in. These are crazy times and things are going to get crazy in the next days, months, possibly years with uh, Trump being a president because... Well, that's why we've got to come together and that's why we've got to realise, in essence, apart from all this noise and nonsense, who we actually are. We are spiritual beings having this human experience. We're just, I'm just wearing this. I'm wearing, I'm wearing this body like I'm wearing this cardigan or t-shirt. You know, this isn't me. No more than this cardigan is me. You know, I still in essence, feel the same as I've always felt in, inside. I only feel like I'm getting older and I look in the mirror and say, oh yeah, I'm getting a bit greyer. <laughs> Do a little, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. You know, you just see yourself in the mirror and that's how you sort of gauge that you're getting actually older. Obviously you learn and hopefully you grow in ways and you, but in essence, you are, you are that spiritual being. You're not this physical shell, this, this meat suit we're wearing, this human suit we're wearing. So that's why we have to transcend this. And that's why the reason why we're constantly told, told and sold this lie is because of the obvious effect that it has on us. It keeps us divided. It keeps us suspicious of each other. It keeps us looking, looking down on other people. Um, it keeps, keeps us looking up at people to attain to something we can never attain to, some ridiculous vision of beauty and success and material wealth that... That, what is that? It's just it's an empty, fake goal, isn't it, really? So, in these coming days, months and years, what we've got to do is unite, come together, realise we are the same. We are spiritual beings having a physical, human experience. And so, once you know that, who can divide you? And... Well, that's my main point, really. <laughs> that's the main thing I want to say. Just just know that. Just know that that is what you are. And if you doubt that, then just look into the eyes of someone you love. Look into the eyes of your pet, some an animal you love, a connection you have, the connection you have with each other, with animals, with the natural world. Look at the wonders of the universe. Just look at this amazing world that we're in. Look at each other, look into each other's eyes. Feel that connection, that connection, that is your soul, that is your spirit, that is who you are. Not this. <laughs> so, yeah, 
That's my message. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. Now, obviously, I'm not the first person to say that. <laughs> In fact, it's, uh, that is actually a quote from, I'll put his name, because I can't remember his name at the moment, but obviously, it's very rare that people are saying new things, and I'm not saying anything new here, but it's a truth that you know. You know that you're more than this. And let's know that, and let's come together, and let's not be divided by what's happened. Yeah, Trump's become president, and yeah, we should um, take a stand against policies. He's going to come up with these ridiculous walls and the divisions that he wants to perpetrate and continue. But we've got to see through all that, and you know, we've got to. We have a responsibility ourselves not to give, not to give focus to. Um, that's the thing. The news. It's called the news, okay? But yeah, it's always bad news, isn't it? It's always constant bad news. You turn on the news, and it every story you watch, it just sort of tightens you up into a knot of despair and hopelessness. And thinking, ah, but there's a hell of a lot of good going on in this world. There's amazing people in this world doing amazing things, but we don't hear about them so much because it's those who do the bad things and the narcissists and the negative aspects which seem to make the most noise and get the most attention. And you've got to ask yourself why. Why is that? Focus on the good stuff. Even in disasters, there's always people helping. There's always good people because people are, in essence, good. People are good people. So, Trump as president. <laughs> Crazy times, but as I say... If you have a society based on materialism and lies, then what are you going to get? So don't believe the lies. Know the truth. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. We're all the same. Let's come together. Peace and love. Cheers.